Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to chat with you guys about my opinion of what I think people get wrong about frugal living. Let's get started and talk about it. I do want to start by saying this. Each of us may have our own definition about what frugality means to us. That's why I always say it's personal finance. I'm going to give you what I feel are some misconceptions and what I see across the board. Okay, the first one is the definition of frugality. I think many people, and I can see this out there from you know comments that I read, people think that frugality is on living on a really low income and also spending very, very little money. Okay, that's what many people think is frugality. For me, what I see as frugality is not wasting. That's simply what it means to me is not wasting. So if you grocery shop, you use the foods you have with very little and no food waste. If you buy clothes, you wear all the clothes you have. If you buy a book, you read the book and you know pass it on to another or perhaps you go to the library, take books out there and you get the best value and you take really good care of everything you have and rather than just replacing things you see if you can repair yourself or perhaps get things repaired that's really a trend right now instead of many people buying new things they're taking really good care of what they have and also getting items maintained and repaired rather than just simply replacing I don't know if you guys did this but back in the 1970s my parents spent a lot of time taking really exceptional care of everything we had from clothing to kitchen items to everything cars and we did a lot of our own maintenance but if my parents couldn't they would actually get items maintained and fixed and repaired rather than purchasing something new that to me is what frugality is the other misconception I think people have is they have to go extreme and by the way, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with extreme frugality or living off a lower income. Everyone has to do what works for them. It depends on so many factors, whether you're living with a family, by yourself, and also what part of the world you're living in. It could, you know, a lot of different factors will kind of contribute to your income and how you spend your money. So... A lot of folks think if you're going to be frugal, you have to be extremely frugal and you have to you know, basically deprive yourself from spending any type of money at all. In other words, going out to eat may be seen as unheard of or buying a coffee out or purchasing new clothes. Those types of things are seen as not frugal. If you go get a massage or your hair done, you're not considered frugal because you can do all those things yourself. So in other words, if you're not extremely frugal, you're not frugal at all. Okay, and then number three, which kind of ties all of this together, it's the comparison game. We've heard this before. Comparison is the death of joy. I see this a lot across all the different YouTube channels. Many people will compare their grocery budgets, and there's a wide difference. So let's say you take a family of four. You may have one family of four that spends $300 a month, and they live on a really low budget. Maybe they make a lot of stews, beans, and rice. I'm not sure how they do it. But, you know, they live on a low grocery budget. And then you see other families of four that might spend $800 a month. And people will compare who spends more. Well, we don't know all the factors that go into that. And so, like I always tell everybody, personal finance. And that's why I feel like we shouldn't compare ourselves to what others are doing. We should compare ourselves to how we did last year, how we're doing this year. What can we do to improve? What kind of quality of life do we want? So what do I think frugality is? I kind of wrote this down. This is how I determine it for me. When I get paid, I pay myself first. I make sure that money goes into investments and savings. That's number one. Number two, my four walls are taken care of. And number three, after that, I make sure to keep track of what I do have. I budget, save for groceries in my cash envelope system. And I'm always looking for ways to improve. That's what I do. I look at what areas did I overspend last year? What areas can I improve on this year? So constantly striving to be better stewards of the money we have. 
That's what I think of frugality. It may look different to you, and that's okay. In your opinion, what does frugality mean to you? I always love to hear from you in the comments below. That's all I have to say for now. I love you, I appreciate you, and I hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.